Good morning, everybody. I hope that you had a great weekend and that it was really restful and you feel refreshed and ready for a new week. Um, happy Monday. My name is Hannah. Um, if you haven't met me before, I am one of the instructors here at MatWorks and I'm really lucky and excited to be taking um, these videos with you this week um, because Phoebe is a busy businesswoman and she has lots of things to do. So. You get me this week, lucky you. All right, um, today we're gonna to be doing some balance work. We're gonna be working on our stabilizing muscles and we're also gonna be doing a whole lot of glutes. Um, it's my personal favorite and it's really, really important to have strong glutes for a nice healthy back, for good posture, and also so you don't fall over all over the show. And that's also what our proprioceptive muscles are gonna help us with as well. So um, let's get down to it there, shall we? We'll just head over to the mat. So we're just going to start with a roll down because this is Pilates and that's what we do. So starting off, we're standing in parallel. We've got our shoulders nice and wide, we're fitting out the top of our head. We're going to breathe in and then take a gentle tuck of the pelvis for me so that we're starting to engage our abdominals. Nice deep breath in for me. And then as you exhale, we're tucking our chin to our chest, letting our shoulders roll over. As weight pours into our head and our hands, pulling us down towards the ground. Really sinking low and lower, feeling like you're articulating through your spine and opening up your vertebrae one at a time. When you get to the bottom, take a nice deep breath in, relax the neck. And then you can draw the belly button and see if you can sink a little bit deeper for me. And then you can take a little nod of your head. Then just side to side, say yes and no, just loosen it off that joint. And then you can bend your right knee straight to your left. Take a little bit deeper, feel that stretch come up your left leg a little bit more. And then inhale, swapping over. We're just going to keep doing this for a couple of seconds. Minutes and we you can go as slow or as fast for this as you need. Just really kind of warm up through our hamstrings, down the back of our legs, feeling that neural tension. Keep drawing the belly button in for me, relaxing that neck. Nice job. Two more. And then you can bend both your knees for me, draw your belly button in, tuck your tailbone under, and slowly roll back up one vertebra at a time. All the way to the top, head arrives last, and give your shoulders a nice big roll. Awesome job. We're going to do one more. This time we're coming into Pilates position. So our heels are together and our toes are apart. We've got a little V position between our feet. Breathing in, tucking the pelvis, shoulders are nice and wide. Then tuck your chin to your chest as you exhale and curl down towards the ground. Feel like you're handling your head a full of sand. And they're dragging you down. When you get to the bottom, you might feel the stretch come up a different set of fibers in the backs of your legs. You may find that you can't come down as far, that's okay. Keep breathing, keep drawing that other button, and then with every exhale, feel like you're just relaxing a little bit deeper into the stretch. Nice job. And you can bend your knees from there so your hands can touch the ground. And then exhale, try and keep your hands connected to the ground as you straighten your legs, breathing in. Bend your knees, keep those hands down on the ground, and then exhale, try and keep your hands connected, straighten your legs. Nice job. Inhale, last time, bend the knees. And then exhale, press it out, try and keep those hands connected to the floor for me. Awesome job, guys. Bend the knee. Tuck your pelvis under and curl your spine back up. Pelvis comes in underneath you to restack your spine. Bone by bone by bone by bone. Come all the way to the top. Give your shoulders a nice big roll. Also, because we're doing a little bit of balance work today, I've got a little challenge. Bring your feet back into parallel for me. We're going to rise up onto our heels, on our heel, onto our toes. And then we're going to do a roll down in this position. Now this is really tricky and it requires us to really be engaging our legs and really engaging our abdominals. So breathing in. And then as you exhale, draw your belly button and tuck your chin to your chest. Woohoo! And slowly curl your body down. 
your thighs, but you'll be working different muscles here. Try to keep your balance, you're wobbling around, that's okay. Woo! And slowly lower yourself down to the ground. You can touch the ground, lucky you. If not, you're just working harder than the rest of us. That's great. And hold at the bottom here for a few breaths. And then you can take a little bit, bit of a bend in your knees. Tuck your pelvis, squeeze your glutes as hard as you can, draw your belly button. And we're slowly going to try and roll back up. Ooh. One minute away at a time. Coming all the way to the top, don't drop your heels down. Ha. Great job. That was really hard. <laughs> awesome. All right. Come onto your mat. We're coming back into Pilates position, so our heels are together, our toes are apart. Your hands are on your hips. And we're rotating out from our hips, not just from our feet. So you really want to be trying to show the inside of your thighs to the front of the room. Hands are on your hips, breathing in to prepare. As you exhale, we're just going to do some calf raises, so breathing in. And then inhaling to lower back down. Great job. Exhale, pressing up. And inhale, slowly lower back down. We're really trying to articulate through the bottom of our feet. Heels get down. Exhale, pressing back up. Nice job. Inhaling to lower back down. Great. Hands on your hips. We're really feeling our TVA engage here. Tightening that corset around our waist. Keeping our upper body really stable as we mobilize our lower half. Breathing in. And then exhale to slowly lower back down. Awesome job, guys. We've got two more of these. And lowering back down nice and slowly. Last one, pressing up. Breathe in and hold here. Now you're welcome to take your arms up to the side if you need balance for this. But we're going to take a nice deep breath. And then as you exhale, I want you to try and close your eyes. Find your balance. And we're going to hold here for 10, 9, and 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Lower the heels down, give your legs a little bit of a shake. That was good. If you're wobbling around, that's fine. We've got these little proprioceptive muscles in our ankles and our knees. And it's really important for us to wobble to strengthen and condition those muscles so that when we do trip or roll our ankle, that we only roll it and that we don't, in fact, injure it or tear any tendons because those muscles are nice and strong and aware and they are going to grab us before anything goes seriously wrong. Rising back up onto your heels for me. Take your arms back up to the side. We're going to go one more time. Closing your eyes, find your balance, draw your abdominals in, and we're going to hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, great job. Last one, lower down, nice job. Give your legs a good wiggle up for me. And then you can take your feet wider on the mat for me. We've still got our toes pointing out at that 45 degree angle. Hands are on our hips, breathing in. And then we're going to lower down into a nice deep squat. Exhale, squeeze your glutes and press back up through your heels. Nice job, inhale, come down. Check that your knees are tracking over your toes that we're not circling in or out the other way. That just looks funny. Pressing back up. Awesome job. That was two. We're going to eight. Coming down. And exhale, pressing back up, squeezing those glutes. Get that nice tuck of your pelvis so your back is nice and flat, like you're sliding up a wall. Awesome job. We've got five more. And squeeze, come back up. Awesome job. Four. Exhale, press back up. Three. Last two, guys. Last one. Just kidding. Come down and hold. Breathing in, we're going to do 10 little pulses. For 10, 9, and 8, 7, 6. Keep tucking that pelvis, engaging your abdominals. 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Coming all the way up to the top. We've got 8 more squats. Coming down, tuck the pelvis, squeeze the glutes, drive back up, nice job. Inhale, coming down, squeeze the glutes, all the way back up, nice job. Three, four, five, six, seven, six more to go, nice job. Exhale, press up, we're halfway there. Inhale, coming down, Wow, oh, it's Monday, treat yourself, this is great, I'm loving this. 
Close and draw. Three. Exhale, two. Last one, hold down at the bottom here. Take your hands, press them into a prayer position, and you're gonna lift your right heel off the floor. We're doing eight little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, swap ankles for me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, keep that pelvis tight. We're doing four, three, two, and one, swap for me, four, three, two, and one, swap for me, two, and two. We're doing eight singles. Keep going, eight, seven, whew, six, and five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, come all the way up. Turn your toes in for me, lean forward. Come into a nice straight stretch. Give your legs a little bit of a wiggle. And then you can grab hold of your elbows, let the extra weight just stretch up the back of those hamstrings and try to work with just been working. Nice shot. Place your hands out on the ground for me. And you can walk your feet back in. Come down onto all fours. And then Drop your butt off to the side. We're coming into some side line moves. Now these are my personal favorite. We're working our glute meat, which is a really important stabilizing muscle. It runs across the top of our butt here. And it's what helps us keep our leg nice and stable as we take one step to another. So as you step, your leg lifts up and the glute meat on this side of your leg engages so that you don't drop out to the side as you're walking. It's a really important muscle and that's what we're going to be doing today. So, lying down, sitting up the side of the our arms extended long, our head rests on our arm. Your knees are bent towards the front of the mat and your feet are back in line with your butt. Take your top hand, put it on top of your hip, and then I want you to use that to press your hips away so that they're nice and set. And we've got that little mouse house gap underneath our waist. Our TDA is engaged, our abdominals are tightening around our waist to keep that little house mouse house underneath our waist and to keep us nice and stable as we mobilize through our lower body. Breathing in, I want you to float your feet up off the floor for me and then as you exhale, press your heels together and open your toe and your knee up to the sky and inhale lower back down. Exhale, press the heels together, open the knee up and inhale lower back down. Nice job, that was two, we're going to eight. Opening up, press the heels together, and inhale, lie back down. Now, the more you press your heels together, the more you're going to be engaging this lower leg and strengthening the lower glute as well as that top one. So you're just getting extra bonus, double whammy. Awesome job, guys. That was four. We're halfway there. Four more for me. Press, exhale, squeeze that top glute. Nice job. And three. Resisting as we're coming back down as well, like there's a spring between our legs coming up. Press those heels together for two. Awesome job, guys. Last one. Press here. Ten little pulses. Ten and nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Drop the feet back down to the mat. Close the knees in. And then you can extend your top leg along on that. We're pointing our toes to swing it forward of our bodies, engaging our abdominals. And then exhale as we flex the foot and draw it back behind us. Put the pendulum, point the toes, swing it at forward. This is a great opportunity to check on your hips, making sure that they're not rocking back and forth. And that we're engaging our abdominals to help keep these hips nice and stable as we mobilize through our lower legs. Awesome job, guys. And how bring it forward. And then exhale, sending it back. That was four. We're going to eight. Inhale, bringing it forwards. Keep that little mouse house under your waist. Check for me. Make sure it's still there. And three. Flex that foot. Draw behind you. That's almost got a piece of string that is pulling your heel back towards the back of the room. Two. Last one. Point. Swing it forwards. And then flex your foot, and you can just bring it back to the middle line for me. Then we're going to do 10 little lifts for 10 and 9. Keep those abdominals engaged. I want you to keep the mouse house here. Don't let yourself crunch in at the waist as we lift our leg. 
We've got five more. Woohoo! Four. Three. You should be feeling this. I am two. And what I really hope you're feeling this, and it's not just me. Turn your toes up towards the ceiling. We've got ten little lifts here. We've got ten. And nine. Awesome job, guys. Eight. And seven. Woo! Six. Five. Check that your hips aren't rocking back for me. Four. And three. Two. We're so close, guys. One more step. Turn the toes down towards the floor this time. So your heels pointing out towards the ceiling. Try not to shake like I am. We're doing two little lifts here. And nine. Oh, yeah, that's the spot. Eight. And seven. Give me a little bit. Six. And five. Four. Three. And two. The last one. Awesome job. Drop your knee back down. Woohoo! That is sore. All right, take your bottom leg and bend it onto the ground for me. Then that leg that was just working, we're bending it and placing the heel on top of your other knee. Now you can stay here if this is enough of a stretch for you and just press your knee back with your hand. Otherwise, if you want to extend the stretch, you thread your arms through the hole and then we hug those knees into our chest. Making sure that we got a nice double chin, that our neck is nice and long, face and back spell is connected. That. Breathing in, suck your belly button in. And we just kind of relax into this a little bit. Nice job. Then you can take that top leg, cross it over for me, like you're sitting in a chair. And then hug both knees into your chest. Just feel that stretch come down a different set of fibers in your glutes, or it might just intensify the stretch either way. Nice job. Ease yourself out of that for me. And then you can sit up, swing your legs over to the other side. We're going to do it all over again. So, setting up, your head is resting on your hand, your knees are bent towards the front of the mat, feet are back in line with your glutes. The top hand is on your hip and it's pressing it away so that our hips stay nice and set and we get that little mouse house gap underneath our waist, breathing and tripping it. As you exhale, float your legs up onto the sky, breathing up. And then exhale, press the heels together as you open your top knee up to the ceiling, squeezing the top glute. And then how to resist as we lower back down. Nice job. Exhale, pressing the heels together, opening up. And exhale, lowering back down. Awesome job, guys. That was two. We're going to eight. Press those heels together for me. Squeeze the knee. Squeeze the glutes. Lower back down. That was three. Coming up for four. Inhaling. And then coming back down. Good job. Exhale, pressing up. And inhaling to lower back down. Three more for me, squeeze, and come back down like we are spread between our knees. You really want to inhale and slowly lower back down. Like we're having to squeeze the spring together. Last one, come up to the top and hold for me. We've got ten little pulses for ten. And nine, eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, and one, nice job. Close those knees together, then you can drop your feet back down onto the mat. Extend the top leg for me. We're going to point the foot to swing it forward of our bodies, and then flex the heel as we draw our leg back behind us. Nice job. Forward to bring it forward. And flex to send it back. Awesome job. We're inhaling as we draw our leg forwards of our body, keeping our abdominals engaged. And then exhaling as we squeeze our glutes, sending the leg behind us. That was three. We're going to eight. Inhale and exhale, draw it back. Make sure this is a great opportunity to check in on your hips, make sure we're not rocking around. Two more for me, bring it forwards. Exhale, send it back. Have you still got that little mouse half on two pelvis? Draw that foot forwards for me and then flex it, bring it just back to halfway. We're doing 10 little lifts. Four, 10, and nine. Keep that mouse house, don't crunch through your waist here. Seven, we're using our glutes, not our abdominals, not our hip flexors. The shoulders feel really nice and relaxed. 
five, four, great job guys, three, woo, I'm feeling better already, how oh dear, last one, hold here, turn the toes up towards the ceiling, got ten little lifts, for ten, and nine, keep those hips stacked for me, eight, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, turn the toes down towards the floor, heel towards the sky, last set guys, ten, and nine, Eight. Wow, seven. This is great. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax all the way back down. Oh my goodness me. Roll onto your back. Bottom leg bends. Top leg goes on top of your knee. Press the knee away. You can stay here. Otherwise, thread your arms through for me. Grab hold of your knee and then you can pull that back towards your chest. Keep your chin nice and tucked. Neck is long on the mat. Beautiful. So take some nice deep breaths. Whew. Great job. And then you can take that top leg and cross it over like you're sitting in a chair. Feel that stretch come into a different set of fibers in your glutes, and then you can gently have those knees back to your chest as well. towards the floor, chest reaches towards the front of the rope, keep your neck nice and long, breathing in. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, draw that belly button in. Spine reaches towards the ceiling, look back between your legs, breathing in. And then exhale, flip the tailbone the other way, shoulders roll down as we lift our chest towards the front of the room, eyes gazing down at the front of our Last time, guys, tuck the tailbone under, draw the abdominals in. Feel your shoulders reaching towards each side of the room. Grow nice and wide. Flip the tailbone. As you exhale, drop the belly down towards the floor. I'm reaching through the front of our chest. I've got a beautiful necklace on the show everybody. Nice job. Bring yourself back to neutral point. Tuck your toes under. Walk your hands back towards your feet. So coming into a crouched position. And then you can drop your heels down to the floor for me. Straightening the legs. And come into a final connection stretch. Drawing that belly button in, relaxing your neck, lengthening out the back of our legs, the back of our legs. Take a nice deep breath in. And then as you exhale, you can soften your knees, tuck your tailbone under, scoop your abdominals, and slowly curl up. One bit of breath at a time, pulse comes underneath you to reset our spine, bone by bone. Give your shoulders a nice big good roll for me. I'm just going to do three nice big arm circles, so inhaling, bring them up. And then exhale, so you can take a little extension, take them back behind you, inhale, bring them up. And exhale, as you release your arms back down last time, deep breath in. And then exhale, send the arms down. And we're all done. I hope that you enjoyed that and that you've got nice warm glutes and legs. Um, and that you're feeling really great and prepared for your week. Um, let me know if there's anything specifically that you guys want to work on. Otherwise, I'm sure we'll come up with something. And I'll see you guys again on Wednesday. Have a great Monday. See you later.